On this podcast, you'll find interviews with high-performing, successful individuals in life sciences. On a weekly basis, we cover their proven methods, principles, strategies, and mindsets to implement new technologies that scale to meet the needs of people in our world. Welcome to the Life Science Success Podcast. My name is Don, and typically on a weekly basis, I am interviewing guests. Um, Actually, this week, we're going to take a little bit of a different tact, and I'm going to share with you some of the most recent updates and some of the exciting things that are actually going on with regards to life science success. And so with that, for those of you who are listening to the podcast, this actually might be a little bit of a challenging episode for you. You might want to actually go to www.lifesciencesuccess.com and on the podcast website, you should be able to find this episode and be able to watch the video for it. Um, In addition to Um, you know, just checking out any other potential show notes or links that I would have as well. And so with that, I just thought I would, you know, just take a little bit of a different uh, tack this week and uh, wanted to also just make sure that for those of you who are listening to the audio only version, um, that you get something uh, that is more valuable to you. Uh, You can still listen along. There's there's nothing wrong with that. It's just some of the things that I do show on the screen uh, might be a little bit challenging for you to follow along with. And so with that, I wanted to give you the opportunity to follow along by going to www.lifesciencesuccess.com. For those of you who don't know me, I'm a consultant in life sciences. I help companies scale manage complexity and increase performance. And uh, I have a consulting business that primarily, um, if you in the past had gone to the podcast website, you actually would have been redirected to this consulting uh, webpage. Uh, Actually, what you'll find now uh, by going to the previously mentioned www.lifesciencesuccess.com Uh, link, you actually are directed to a page that is solely uh, meant only for the podcast. And it has a link to my consulting page as well in case, um, you know, somebody comes, uh, goes there and then also wants to know, you know, more about uh, other services that I offer. Primarily, um, my business focuses in on things like um, helping clients uh, work through quality and process improvement, Uh, as well as program management or project management. And then lastly, uh, technology implementation and transformation uh, is primarily where we focus on with regards to the the, um, consulting business. And then I have this podcast that I do on Wednesdays. Typically, we try and put out an episode at 5 p.m., every Wednesday. Uh, I used to, to store these up. I, whenever um, the podcast first came out, uh, I actually would record as many in succession as I could possibly line up uh, any weekday as possible. Um, as this idea of having a, a live show has, you know, came more to the forefront, uh, I've tried to just stay consistent at 5 p.m. on Wednesdays. And so the more guests that I can line up for then, um, you know, the more consistent that we are. Occasionally, I'll have a guest that can't make it uh, at 5 p.m. on Wednesday. And so what I I typically try and do then is record the episode um, and I'll still try and put out the pre-recorded episode at 5 p.m. on Wednesday, as well as that weekend uh, release the audio version. And so um, when you used to click this link, um, you used to actually be brought to this consulting web page, um, but you would also um, be brought to a page solely just for episodes. Um, as the podcast has continued to grow, though, my wife and I have talked much more about you know sort of the look and feel of the the um, podcast website and just needing to sort of continue to upgrade up our game for all of the listeners that are out there. And uh, so with that, in the last 30 days, for anybody that's gone to the podcast website, actually what you would have seen is you would be brought here to uh, the Life Science Success uh, podcast webpage. And um, uh, I like this look and feel a heck of a lot better, uh, to be frank. Uh, Each time I I release a podcast, 
the thing that happens is that each new episode gets moved to this very top section. And so you will find the most recent uh, episode. And so I conducted an interview with Spintelex just recently, uh, and we talked about precision pathology using explainable AI. And so that's the, the title of the episode itself. Uh, you will find that all of the episodes are also broadcast. I, I use uh, Libsyn as the the podcast service, and they broadcast it out to a tremendous amount of of places where you can, you know, hopefully link up and listen, but at the same time, having a web page that helps to tie the listenership together uh, seemed like the right way to go. And so um, uh, I'm really happy with this as well. <clears throat> I've also noticed that if I go, if I come here on my uh, mobile phone, the one thing that happens is that at the very top, it also asks me whether or not if I want to join uh, via the streaming service that is available on my phone. And so on my phone, it's the iPhone. And uh, so the Apple podcast comes up and it asks me uh, right there if I wanted to become a subscriber, which is tremendous. Uh, hopefully will also help us increase our uh, consistent listenership on iTunes uh, as well as uh, Google Play and others. So uh, the minute, if you are a subscriber, the minute that I, I put an episode out, you will be getting uh, a message that essentially says there's a new episode uh, for Life Science Success. And, and um, hopefully that helps to, to serve the listeners even more um, that are following the podcast. And so with that, you know, I, I just felt like the website, you know, should also help uh, as well. The other thing that you'll see here is that there is a, um, a player that's available right on the website. Um, this has been something that I've that I'd done as well, but you had to go into each individual episode. Um, this one, uh, the minute that you come to the Life Science Success podcast website, you'll find that there's a player at the very top here. You can click on play and it would actually uh, begin to play through your computer. So hopefully again, for those of you who like to, to you know, watch or listen on your browser, um, you, you could come here and certainly do that uh, as well. For each episode, um, you, there is a separate page as well. And so what you'll see here is the, uh, this is the, at the very top, it talks about uh, what the episode was about um, for Spintelex. Uh, we also had guests. So Dusty Majumdar joined us again. We had Chaka, Chakra Chenabolta uh, as well as Lance Taylor, who are leaders at the company. And we spent a lot of time focusing in on, you know, key aspects of their company and who they serve uh, as well as, you know, kind of the future of Spintelex. And so um, this is a tremendous uh, episode for individuals that are looking for information with regards to AI and how AI is being used inside of um, uh, pathology uh, as well. The other thing that I thought I would mention, I'll come down here to Raphael Ogner's episode. So Raphael Ogner is the um, CEO of Inkilt. And uh, they are actually in the drug development area right now. Um, and Raphael came in and, and filled out his bio. And so uh, whenever you click into an episode, you'll see a couple different things. Um, one, there's the player again. There are show notes. I've tried to start in the show notes to try and pull out you know, key points in time um, that you might want to listen to. And then lastly, so this is what Raphael filled out. He filled out his bio um, as we got ready for the episode. And so you can come in and read a little bit more about Raphael himself uh, and kind of the career that uh, Raphael has had um, in life sciences. And so, again, I just feel like this will even more serve uh, the community that we have here at Life Science Success. If you want to subscribe to the podcast, uh, in addition to subscribing to it on your uh, mobile phone in iTunes or Google Play, whichever way that you typically download podcasts, you can come to the, the podcast website and subscribe here, and then you will get any sort of message notifications that I happen to send out of the podcast website itself. The other tremendous opportunity that there is with this website is that there's the opportunity to send me a voicemail. 
And so some people, in addition to the contact form at the very top, uh, you could fill um, you know, you come here and, and write a normal message, um, you know, just like any other, um, you know, website that you go to. The tremendous opportunity that I think this offers is that uh, you can send me a voicemail if you'd rather send me a voice message. And so whether it's comments about an episode, what you liked or didn't like about a particular episode, um, you know, feel free to come in and click this button and send me just a short uh, voicemail note with regards to things that we might be able to do uh, in the future to serve you better. The last point, part that I wanted to point that I wanted to make with regards to this contact page is that I am always looking for guests. I, I frequently get this question, you know, hey, you know, are you booked for a year? No, no, normally, I mean, at the at, at sort of the the best times, I am booked a couple months out. So, um, you know, we'll have a couple months of, of guests lined up, but I'm always talking to people and continually trying to encourage different life science leaders to come on the podcast and tell their story and uh, hopefully share with you a little bit more about them and their company. And so if you're in life sciences and you, um, you know, are a leader in life sciences who would like to be on the podcast, feel free to send me a note. Also, if you know somebody else that you would like for me to reach out to and, and try and encourage to be on the show, I'm more than happy to do that as well. Um, you know, frequently I'm reaching out to, you know, a variety of life science leaders at any point in, in time. And, uh, you know, just love to have these, these conversations with individuals about what it is that they do. So feel free to, uh, um, you know, come here and fill out the form or leave me a voicemail either way. Uh, you can also provide encouragement or criticism with regards to the show. I'd be happy to receive either and um, you know, would love to, uh, to receive that via, via written message or voicemail either way. The other thing that I have recently created and started tagging uh, I, I, on LinkedIn, they've got this weird thing uh, where I can only reach out to about 100 people at a time. And so with somebody with such a broad network, it's going to take me quite a bit of time to get through all of my network. So I thought I would use this episode to try and get people to come here as well and, um, you know, just go to LinkedIn and follow the show. Um, so I recently um, was encouraged by another podcaster uh, who is in a different industry who actually did the same exact thing for their podcast. And so I created a podcast uh, page on LinkedIn where I can put out, you know, again, more information with regards to episodes and things that are going on uh, with regards to the podcast itself. And so uh, with that, you know, the more followers that I get, the better that will uh, sort of encourage um, uh, LinkedIn to, to allow, you know, more and more um, capabilities with regards to this. For those of you who don't know this, I currently broadcast the um, overall podcast under my personal LinkedIn profile. Uh, hopefully if I can get enough followers with regards to the show, eventually I could maybe switch that over to um, primarily be centered around the show as well, um, just for people that primarily want information with regards to the show. So if you come to uh, the LinkedIn page, you have to put in a it's a little bit of a convoluted link. I'll read it off, but then I will uh, also provide this information in the show notes. So it is linkedin.com forward slash company forward slash life science success. And so that would bring you to the page for the podcast. And then all you have to do is come over here and you click follow. And so once you're following it, it'll show the check mark in the little uh, blue oval and um, say that you're following that particular site. Um, so I would appreciate as many followers as we could potentially get. As you could see, the followership is still rather low. It's about 16 followers right now. So it's still uh, extremely small here compared to our overall listenership uh, for the podcast. And so um, just thought I would share that and try and encourage as many people as possible to come to the podcast web, uh, excuse me, the podcast uh, LinkedIn page and follow us there. The other thing I wanted to mention uh, as well is that, so me, Music Beats Cancer is going to be at Bio. 
And I've been asked by Mona Javeri, who is a tremendous friend, uh, to just go there and record um, just some brief interviews as well as kind of the overall happenings at at Bio. And um, so I'm preparing to to actually be at the Bio uh, Music Beats Cancer Reception on June 13th, the evening of June, June, June 13th. And so I will be there uh, live and, uh, you know, record uh, different elements that I will piece together uh, into a piece of, that Mona and I are working on um, to just kind of showcase a little bit of the, the way that different individuals help to support life sciences and life science growth. And so, um, you know, for for those of you who are going to be at Bio, um, you know, reach out to me or reach out to Mona. Be happy to to try and and um, you know get more and more people to attend this event. Music Beats Cancer is doing some tremendous work, both with mu musicians as well as uh, companies that are working on um, the next generation drugs and devices in support of. Um, cancer treatment. And so um, this is a tremendous organization. Uh, I'm so blessed to have Mona as a friend and uh, greatly appreciate everything that, uh, that she is doing currently in the, in the industry. So with that, the Life Science Success uh, website is up and running. Uh, please come here and, and check out the episodes. Also, as you click into the different episodes, you'll notice that uh, if there was a video recording with it, uh, the YouTube video recording is setting there as well. And so if you'd rather watch than listen, uh, you can do that as well. And so um, with even with this episode, you'll be able to do the same thing. Uh, click into the episode and you will see that I have um, attached the YouTube video there and tr tried to provide as many uh, links and supporting information as possible. And so primarily that's what I wanted to share this week. Um, you know, with all of you, the podcast is growing tremendously. I've got some great guests lined up in the coming weeks and look forward to all of the interviews that are coming. Um, I on a, honestly, on a, on a weekly as well as each weekend, I typically spend a little bit of time uh, on the podcast. And, and um, you know, just as I look forward to um, the weeks upcoming, again, I feel uh, just so honored that, uh, that individuals continue to uh, contribute and want to be a part of the podcast. And also, um, you know, I look forward to to sharing their stories with each one of you. And so uh, hopefully you'll continue to, uh, to join me uh, on the podcast. And um, yeah, yeah, I just, you know, look forward to putting out more and more episodes. So thanks so much for joining me this week. And uh, I look forward to seeing you soon in future episodes. Thank you for listening to Life Science Success. For complete details about this podcast, including show notes, how to get in touch with guests, and more episodes, please visit www.lifesciencesuccess.com. If there's someone you'd like for us to invite to the show as a guest, please let me know by sending me a message at the podcast website. Please click subscribe on your favorite podcast app, share the podcast, or tell a friend about it, and last but not least, rate the podcast. Thank you again. Mm -hmm.